Hello to our enthusiasts, my name is James and today, well, we have some pretty interesting stuff to do. One, I said that we were going to defeat the Wall of Flesh today. Now hopefully that's the case, but first, before I get to do that, I actually need to go fishing. Yeah, that's weird on a fisherman's playthrough. But no, I'm going to do some intense fishing today. I need some, um, I need some of these, I need some frost dagger fish. So, I'm going to need quite a lot as well, so I may actually have to take two of these. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to jump cut this ahead because this is going to be a very boring 16 minutes of fishing for me. Because I'm just searching for one thing. Hopefully I find them pretty fast. It'd be good if I did. I may have to expand my little biome a little bit. But hopefully I get them. Maybe we'll get something else as well. So, that's what I'm going to be working on. I don't feel like we have a new quest just yet, right? Let me just have a little check of that. I feel like I did the daily quest in the last episode. Yeah, there we go. Alright, okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go fish, and then we should do a daily quest, and then we should get ready for the Wall of Flesh. I want to get that, I don't know if I want to get the golden uh, fishing rod before we go into hard mode. I'm not too sure. Hmm, maybe. Maybe. But anyway, I'm going to go fishing. Also, I'll tell you what's weird, I've come onto the game and my map has reset. I feel like this is one of the issues with um, the current build. Let's try it. What's that? I'm not too sure. Yeah, it's completely reset. That's pretty weird. I'm not sure if it's Steam Integration or what that's doing this, because I never use Steam Integration for uh, Terraria, I always have it so it's not uploaded to the cloud. But I'm not too sure, man. It's pretty weird. Eh, kind of annoying too, because we had, like, now I don't know where anything is. Now I can't just look on the map, because look, some stuff is available, some's not. I may try and exit in and out and see what happens, but yeah, till then, that's pretty annoying. Okay, so 16 very, very successful minutes later, I have got 5 golden crates, 6 iron, 14 wooden, a balloon puffer fish, and 425 frost dagger fish, which is how many I said I wanted. I said I wanted 400. So that was awesome. That was a really good, um, that was a really good session. I feel like it's because obviously, like, like, the reason why we're getting more golden crates and such, and I'm not really thinking about it, is obviously because we have all of the fishing accessories now that are good. So, yeah, so that was a, that was a lot of fun. I expanded the, um, ice little area as well because it was like, yeah, it was just a little bit like, uh, like a little bit, how, how do I define it? It was just a little bit, um, small. I don't know why it took me so long to say that. Right, yeah, it was just a little bit small. Oh, that's awesome. I, I purposely moved the gold over to, uh, give us this golden, uh, uh this golden, um, rocket boot effect. God, I'm, my talking is awful today. I really do apologize, guys. Uh, usually I can pretty much get my words out straight away. So, now that, that is done, I'm going to go see what the daily quest is for today. Um, go check it out, and then we'll obviously do it. And I think we should be able to check how many we've actually done quest-wise. Because we need to get to that magical 30. So, caught in the jungle surface, it's a catfish. Right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go catch it, and then I'll tell you how many quests we've done and how many need to do to get all the remaining stuff. God, my talking is awful today. I do really apologize. Yesterday, I spent eight hours building furniture for my house, um, for like my bedroom, because my bedroom when I moved in had no furniture in other than a bed. So yeah, my mind is warped. All right, so I'm gonna go catch this fish. Okay, so I'm back and I got my catfish. Now let's see what the quest is. We got apprentice, we got an angler earring, trout monkey. What was the uh, what was the quest item for that then? What did I get? I got an angler earring. I got some apprentice bait. I don't know. I don't know why I got that achievement. Let me just go check. Let me see if I can check this and you guys see. Oh, complete your twenty fifth quest for the angler. So we've done twenty six then because the game seems the the achievement list thinks I'm one behind. So we've done twenty six. We need to do four more to get our golden rod, which is going to be awesome because obviously that's the highest one we can get. So what I may do now is I'm probably gonna uh, enchant some of our accessories, and then we'll see. I tell you what, I, ch I told you. Oh, there we go. I was gonna say I told the uh, the goblin to move in, um, and he hasn't. Yeah, the map is completely bugged out. I may relog in a second. So reforge. All right, let's reforge. You can reforge this for sure. Plus four melee speed. See, I like melee speed, but. Plus four movement, nah. I want like insanely good defense or insanely good like attack. I'm not using too much money here. Yeah, plus four defense, I'll take it. Right, I'm probably gonna use, oh, that's plus four. When I'm in the fight, I'll probably use a frog leg. Plus four defense, I'll take that. Right, 
Um, well, I'm going to have either one of these equipped, so I may as well just keep the fish in line. Why not? Oh my god, who... Oh, there we go. So it's all defense, so if I move that over, what's that? It's 37 defense plus 8, because we'll have a, a potion. So that's what? 45 defense? It's not too bad at all, is it? That's going to be good. Um, attack would have been better, I feel. Well, I don't know, actually. I'm not too sure. We'll have to see about that one. But for now, looking pretty nifty. Okay, everything is set. I am all prepared. Mentally, I'm ready. Right, okay, I am ready. Right, let's turn all the pause back on. Do you think we'll do it? <laughs> what What are the bets? Come on. All right, write them in the comments down below. Come on. Let's be honest with yourself. Do you think I'll do it or not? Following the recent track record of my series and stuff, we all know I'm not the best player. Okay, it's R, isn't it? Oh, there's another one there. What button is it? Is it T? Oh, no, you have to watch it go in. Oh, no, it's actually done it this time. Thank God. Okay, buff up. If this lags, by the way, I do apologise. Um, they usually lag out my computer. Tis the way. Tis the way. I wonder if um, the uh, the plus 10 buff thing is affected by the uh, the B-Nades. The B-Nades are doing good. Alright, okay. I need to concentrate. Let's turn off that mini-map. Alright, I'm doing good damage. I'm doing good damage. Alright, I can't remember which one has the lowest defense. Is that one? That's, that's doing 20-ish. I feel like it's the top one that has the lowest defense. I can't remember. Someone always tells me in the comments down below every time I do one of these fights. Oh, we're actually nailing it, aren't we? Oh, God. What a nice little breeze. Good thing about the heart reap potion, uh, the heart reap potion and stuff as well. This is probably going to be the easiest fight I've ever done. This is a... Uh, wow. Not bad at all. You can't complain about this one. There's lots of clicking now. I guess we can all be thankful for that. Right, okay. Oh, I'm having fun with this fight. Come on, buddy. Just hurry up and die. You're showing yourself up now, Wall of Flesh. You are getting beat by a pensioner fisherman. Just throw it out. I'm not a pensioner, people. <laughs> Everyone always thinks I'm 50. In real life, I mean. Alright, okay. Come on, let's get this done. God, there's so many heart leeches. Go away, leech. Right, it's definitely the top one that does the lowest defense. I just want to kill it before I run out of track. I feel like that's going to be the only issue here. Come on. Come on, hurry up and die. There we go. Awesome. How did we get an achievement for that? Oh, wait, right, you get achievements per character. Okay. The ancient spirits of light and dark have been released. Hey, Tom the Fisherman don't care about that. <laughs> he cares about his crate unboxing. Oh, man. What sick crates are we going to get? What, what do we get? Oh, we got the uh, the Sorcerer's Emblem. Not bad. That means that if we take a Mage Approach, which we probably will at some point, because there is a good Mana Weapon um, up for grabs. I wish I had brought my Purification Powder um, to do the Tax Collector. You usually... i tell you what, look at them all. That, like, they've not had the heart to come up here, these little leeches. i tell you what, we can probably leave now. Before things get mental, yeah. Because, look, Giant Bats already. Things are going to get mental. The game does change at this point, so... Welcome to Hard Mode, everybody. You may be wondering to yourself, what's so hard? Oh, you'll see. There is a lot. I tell you what, what is... Oh, okay. Oh, God. Oh, God. We're corruption. Oh, I hate corruption houses. Corruption houses suck. Oh, my God. Close the door. Close the door. Oh, no. I tell you what, thank God. Oh, my God. We are screwed. We are absolutely screwed. Oh my god. Welcome to Hard Mode, everybody. We are, we are genuinely screwed right now. This is a, this is not a good way to start Hard Mode at all. We've not even managed to smash any orbs yet. And we're already dying. And Oh god. Well, at least these guys are easy. I hate Corruption Houses. I'm just throwing it. I really do. Because it messes all your NPCs up. Like, like right now... We have to move house because of NPCs. Because we're not going to get a mechanic for ages. Sorry. Tom the Fisherman also likes to complain. That sucks because we've got all our good stuff in the house. Oh, we've got all our stuff in the house. Purification powder won't do anything. Oh, God. What a, what a crappy way to start hard mode. <laughs> this is one sight to be seen though, isn't it? Oh, we got an angry Nimbus up there as well. I'll tell you what, all our NPCs are going to die either way, so... Oh, God, we're never going to be able to kill this angry Nimbus, are we? No. Alright, okay, we have, we have balls to up. We have balls to up. 
I'll tell you what, does any of our pools get affected? We're going to have to start a new base of operations. Oh my god, Luella's doing pretty good for herself, isn't she? GG, Luella, GG. Yeah, GG, I like it, uh, Luella. You're doing good. Look at the damage we're doing here, look at this. So, Alright, okay, close the door. I said close the door, god damn it. <laughs> Oh, sorry, Yupan. Yupan, you're not going to live very... Yupan, close the door. Alright? <laughs> God, if you go out that door, Yupan, I'm going to be very annoyed. Alright, okay. <laughs> okay, crate unboxing time. I'm going to unbox them. Look at the madness that surrounds us before we do this. Okay, six golden crates. What's it going to be? Okay, we've got hardy saddles, some titanium, some platinum... What I'm going to do is I'm going to put all the uh, new ores in a new chest. Have I got any? Have I got a new chest? I don't know. Let's see what we can quick stack. Uh, not a lot, apparently. There we go. All right, okay. So that was all six of the uh, better chests. Now it's time for some of the lesser ones. We're going to do 11 iron. Oh, we got an enchanted sundial. Dude, that's awesome. They're really rare as well. Um, They're, like, quite rare. Like, very rare, I think. I can't remember if they're very rare or just quite rare. God, my jumping's off today. I do apologise, guys. Alright, let's put a sundial on our house. Let's put it up here. That's it. Looking out into the sun. So we've got lots of new stuff there. Lots of cool bars. We've got mithril or a calcum. I'm going to put some of that away. Okay, so that was the iron. I think we also got the yeah, air. we got some more tartar sauce. I'm just going to get rid of, clear up some of this inventory. Obviously, it's going to be a bit of a mess. I'm just going to get rid of some of the stuff that we don't need. I tell you what, I didn't use my sharpening stone and I should have done. I'll take these off here. Right, okay, let's quick stack whatever we can. Right, blink root seeds need to go into here. Okay, so now it's the it's the, like the crummiest crates. We have 84 wooden crates. What are you, what are you guys thinking about this one, eh? Eh? <laughs> Tell you what, I think it's too many items on screen. I don't want to, um, I don't want to, like, break it. Oh, what did we put in? Okay, so, we have entered hard mode, my friend. We have all of the stuff in box now, and I've done, I've crafted all the stuff. We made an adamantite forge, mithril anvil, okay, and we have 45 orichalcum, 37 mithril, 39 cobalt. So what are we going to make? I feel like we should make... See, I'm not too sure. What do we start off with? What do we start off with? Well, let's have a look, right? Okay, so, armor. Probably not going to have enough to craft any full set of armor. And, like, I don't think cobalt even really comes close. So, I feel like, actually, let me see. Right, okay, we have 37, so you'd need 10, 20, so that's already 30. We don't have enough for mithril. Let's have a look at this. 15, 20. So, we don't have enough for... We don't have enough for either, so that would be 10, 30... 45 so we don't have enough for anything just yet like anything major just yet so i'm not sure how hard mode's gonna work are we like in terms of like stuff are we allowed to mine in hard mode i'm really not sure because there's not many like armors that we can get i feel like we i feel like we need to like clarify a lot of this stuff i feel like we should be able to mine in hard mode i feel like that's gotta be a thing but what we can do is we can start working on some weapons that you get from actual fishing so then it's kind of, we're sticking with the theme, and you guys can let me know. So, that's the stuff we've got, and you guys should let me know if we can actually craft out. Until then, I may actually make... I've got to make something that's got to help, that's the thing. I don't know, I don't know what to craft. Uh, Alright, that'll do for today. Right, and a, and a, and a blah blah blah. Cobalt, na do na 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 Blah blah blah. Alright, okay, let's see what the quest for today is, guys. <laughs> Let's see what the quest is. Right, okay. Right, you guys are all freaking out, aren't you? Grayson, calm down. Oh, Joseph, Joseph, come on, buddy. Grayson, calm. Wait. This is getting stupid. Right, okay, quest. What's the quest for today? Dynamite fish caught in the surface. Awesome. Right, okay, where is the surface biome that we can use? Probably there now. Alright, let's go out and take out some stuff. I think we should try and take out at least one thing. Oh no, don't don't spread your corruption. Don't 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 do that. 
Okay, so the dynamite fish has been caught. Now, we're going to be using the enchanted sundial today to do something very cool. First off, I'm going to finish this quest, which gets us some master baits, some crate potions, and one gold. Now, I'm going to wait until the next quest, because that's not too far away. And then what we're going to do is we are going to speed time from that point to a new day, so then we can get free quests done in the space of two times. Now, if you've never seen the enchanted sundial before, you can speed up time by one day. And you can do this every once every seven in-game days, so once a week, basically. Um, so it should be good for helping us with quests. It's a really nice find. I guess it's not as rare as we thought, because I did get a few of them in the end. So, yeah, it's, it's cool to get, though. And apparently, they can bug out and kill the Moon Lord. So, <laughs> maybe we have a hope there. Oh, we got a blindfold. Cool, because I just literally got affected by darkness. Awesome. Okay, so it's brand new quest time. It's 4.30. We're going to get started. All right, so Grayson, tell us a new quest. Caught in the jungle surface, prawns and sharks are ugly. So ugly. Did you know there's a fish that looks pretty much, that looks very pretty and still can eat? Oh, wait, we've done this one. The tropical barracuda. So we're going to go get that one now. And then I'm going to actually start doing, well, actually, I'm going to do a sundial. And then we're going to work on the house. So we're getting lots done today. Lots and lots done. Um, this is the area I've actually uh, cleared out. There's just a little quick spoiler. So I'm going to go do this now. And then I'm going to jump back. And then we're going to do another day, another quest, house. Sounds good? Good. Okay, so that one's done, and I managed to do it really easy. I think it was like two goes. The only thing that was giving me hassle was the, um, the derplings. <laughs> Alright, so, Grayson. Oh, don't do the spazzy out thing. Okay, calm down, buddy. Alright, apprentice bait and an earring. Alright, okay. Right, so, we're going to do the sundial, which you click doing this. And look at the time. We enchant by one whole day. Wow, I love the enchanting. Uh, I love the whole uh, speed of a time day thing. It looks really cool. Alright, so that's like the night time. So how, how many hours does it do? Does it literally do a full 24 hours? Oh, look at us with our little green thing. Or does it set you to 4.30? Ah, okay. It's so a new quest. Underground Tundra. So that quest is now done, which means that we had full use. I got chilled before I teleported. Great. That means we had full use of our um, of our little sundial. So we got that done. Mr. Grayson, tell us about a quest. We got one gold and some crate potions. Good. That's really good. All right. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go get some trees from another world. Uh, like I, I like to make a new world, get loads of trees and such before I start building a house. And then I'm going to build a big house over here. One that should last for the end of the series, hopefully. Uh, I may extend, obviously, all the water around here, We're gonna, and then after this we're going to start setting up. I feel like this will be the end of the episode, but after this we're going to start setting up uh, our hallowed stuff. So we need, like, we basically need, like, pools in the hallowed and such, and we need one in the corruption. Well, we got one in the corruption. I feel like it's all the new biomes that we have. Um, yeah, so, going to make a nice big pond here, because we need to go farm for some stuff. And then, I don't know, we should be golden. We should be golden golden fishing rod that's what we need okay everyone welcome to the new house so it's kind of it's finally done um i didn't get time to do a daily fishing quest but look everything is sorted now got levels now so i got one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven and then that'll be a 12 12 rooms all the crafting stations moved everything over look at this oh yeah got them all organized and everything Got a lot done. And that was only in one full day of Terraria. Not bad. Alright, we do have a quest, but... Actually, do you know what? Caught in Sky Lakes and Surface. I may actually be able to get that if I rush. If I equip all my stuff and rush. Because I've only got an hour and a bit to do it. Damn it, I should have brought the fishing potion. Right, okay. Let's see if we can do this one. Right, what I'm going to do is... Oh, God. Alright, okay. Everyone get out of the way. Come on, out of the way, everyone. I'm trying to do something here. Huh. Right, what I may do is I'm going to speed this up uh, and see if I get it or not. Oh, yeah, totally got it. Totally got it in time as well. Okay, quick. We've only got a little bit left to actually go and hand this in. I need to work on some kind of navigational system throughout the house. Okay, we've got a crate potion and we got a four gold. Okay, so what is today's quest? Well, let's go check out the angler. Hello, Grayson. What is your quest today? Okay. Sky Lake, awesome. What's it? What's the actual fish called? I might actually check that. Did you know there's magical islands that float up high in the sky? But you didn't. They say angels live in the sky, and I believe those angels have fins and gills and swim around. I believe you must catch one for me. Oh, it's called an angel fish. That's kind of cute. Okay, our final quest for the day. What are we gonna get? The golden fishing rod. 
<laughs> Sorry, that was uh, very loud, but we have finally done it, guys. We have gotten the golden fishing rod. Amazing. Oh, yeah. Oh, wow. Look at this. 50%. 20%. Look at that. Wow. We've finally done it, guys. Look at this. Look at that golden tools. Oh, we're going to go test this out. Come on. All right, let's whack this in here. I'm not going to be using... Oh, <laughs> it's favorite. We're not going to be using this boring one for a while. We're going to be using our great one. Let's go check it out. All right, let's go use it. Okay, let's get rid of these guys. And these guys. Um, okay. Right. Slime is falling from the sky. Let's just have a look at this golden one. Oh, it's so slick. Oh, I love it. Look at the way, like, look how fast it flies out as well. Oh, that's so nice. We're going we're gonna to get loads of fish with this. It looks like it's, like, homing up and down. Yeah, cool. All right, so that's going to do it for today's episode. Really big episode, really good stuff. Um, hope you guys like the new house. Hope you guys like the uh, the eater of uh, the wall of flesh kill. Um, personally, I think it was pretty good. And yeah, so have a fantastic day, everyone, and I'll see you in the next one. And if anything gets cut out of this episode, because it is quite long, I do apologize. That has to happen recently. <laughs> I have just too much time in the day to record at the minute. Oh, I'll tell you what, we're going to put a sundial right here. There we go. Have a great day, everyone. Peace.